In late 2015 a life-size photograph on the set of The Rachel Ray Show drew gasps from its New York audience. In the shot stood Connecticut Manny and Cook with his long grey locks spilling over his shoulders. With his unkempt beard, he appeared for all the world like a modern-day Gandalf from The Lord of the Rings. However, Ian's long dash comma suffering family thought his appearance fell far short of magical. Clearly, they all felt something had to change. So a makeover was a long time coming for the then 54-year-old who lived in Stamford, CT, and worked in utilities. Indeed, Ian cheerfully admitted to the eponymous TV lifestyle magazine show host that his last haircut had been four years prior. In fact, in the episode broadcast in December 2015, Rachel revealed that Ian's appointment with some scissors was so long overdue that it had been requested by his ex-wife. Strangely, then, the driving force behind Ian's manoeuvre on the popular daytime show was the utility man's one-time spouse, Karen. Yes, Rachel excitedly pointed out that it was the first time ever that a former partner had ever nominated anyone for anything on the programme. Whatever the motivating factor for the makeover was, though, it was clearly serious. Indeed, Karen evidently thought the situation was somewhat hairy, in both senses of the word. It turned out that the former couple shared 16-year-old twin sons, Benjamin and Cameron, who lived with their mom in Milford, CT. This town was close to where their dad lived, but his appearance was beginning to put some emotional distance between Ian and his boys. So Karen was worried that the twins had got to an age where their shaggy-haired father was beginning to seriously cramp their style. Benjamin, Cameron, and Karen were therefore sat in the front row of the TV audience when Rachel introduced the show's style expert Kyan Douglas. The professional groomer explained Ian's motivation, saying, he's doing this for his sons. Because they get a little embarrassed sometimes when they bring the ladies home and they've got the Gandalf guy in the living room. The twins understandably squirmed in their seats, clearly uncomfortable with the situation. It also seemed unlikely that these were the kind of lads who could ever confront their dad about his crazy coiffure. So it was obvious that someone else had been needed to bring the crisis to a head. And that person, somewhat unconventionally, turned out to be Ian's ex-wife. Karen explained to the host, the boys are getting older now, and things have been said, and I think I have to be the go-between. You're trying to broker the deal, Rachel suggested to the former partner with a front row seat for the proceedings. But her style expert colleague had a different explanation. I think the boys are trying to be sweet, and Karen is like, get out there. Kyan quipped, making a kicking action. While Ian laughed good-naturedly, there was obviously a serious intent behind it all. For the loving father had made his mind up about the makeover and was more than ready for an image overhaul. In fact, Ian was perhaps keener than anyone not to be the subject of ridicule any longer for the sake of his teenage sons. I want them to be as proud of me as I am of them, he touchingly explained when questioned. A montage of photos assembled by the Rachel Ray show revealed that, while the general unkemptness and grayness may have been more recent developments, Ian had always had very special hair. A picture of him taken on his wedding day, for instance, showed a younger Ian with lustrous, oofant dark locks and a matching handlebar moustache. So you went into this kind of knowing what you were getting, by the by, Rachel joked to Karen about the relationship. Another picture showed Ian sporting a similar man cradling his twin babies. A further photograph displayed him showing off a shorter and blonder beehive-like creation. As the audience giggled good-naturedly at the embarrassing old pictures, Rachel jokingly chastised them. She gestured to Ian, saying, we have to knock it off. He's right here. The host then excused the incriminating photographs, adding, he's a perfectly lovely man inside. And given the amount of teasing Ian was prepared to put up with for the sake of his family, that statement certainly appeared to be true. How, then, had things got so bad stylistically speaking? After all, the presenters agreed that underneath all those grey tresses, Ian was still a bit of a catch. Well, obviously, the hair is a situation. But he's a handsome guy, Kyan said. I love his eyes. He's got a strong cheekbone. And show stalwart Rachel was very quick to wholeheartedly concur. The trouble was one that is common to many middle-aged men. Somewhere down the years, Ian had stopped making much of an effort over his appearance. Kyan the image guru added, he's super furry, and when I look at him I see a guy who's gotten comfortable, maybe a little too comfortable, like we all do from time to time, I just want to do a version of him that's better. So with that motivation in mind, the team whisked Ian away for his much-needed spruce up. Disappearing behind the screens for a time, the Rachel Ray Show's man over team worked their magic. In no time at all, thanks to the televisual trick of editing, Ian was ready to present his new look. And when he stepped out from behind the screen, it is fair to say that his ex-wife and twin sons were blown away. 
gone were the neglected tresses, and in their place was a trendy combed back, but still comparatively long style. The beard and handlebar moustache had been tastefully trimmed and tidied. Standing in front of the audience was the sleek silver fox that had evidently always been trying to get out. A Proudian seemed thoroughly delighted with his new image. The subject of their so-called man overlooked so much better than his former self, that Rachel teased Karen. The host said, I think she's rethinking that whole ex thing. Even though the former flames obviously still got on well, Ian was having none of it, however. Oh no oh. He jokingly exaggerated, shaking his head from side to side. This was his most effusive statement of the show so far. And while Ian and Karen's twin boys were both lost for words, his ex-wife only had one thing to say. When he came around the corner, he looked like someone on TV, she exclaimed. I don't know who, but I was like, who is that? Clearly impressed by her former husband's fresh take, she added, I've never seen him look like that. Rachel was quick to point out that, in her opinion, this was the best Ian had ever looked. She turned to the audience and asked, you saw their wedding pictures, right? He didn't even look like this on their wedding day. Later, the host said she was particularly impressed by his hair. Speaking directly to Ian, Rachel ran a hand through his locks and said, it's very hot for women. Just long enough to push behind your ear is super sexy, man. Of course, doting dad Ian had put himself through the whole televised experience for his boys. The shy teens were awkward and unsurprisingly lost for words in front of the cameras on nationwide TV. But later on, after filming had finished, Benjamin and Cameron found their voices and let Ian know that they were possibly the biggest fans of his man over. Later in December 2015, Karen spoke to local newspaper The Milford Mirror about the foursome's journey back to Connecticut after the show had wrapped. She recalled, the boys could not take their eyes off of Ian on the train ride home, and kept saying how great he looks. Hopefully, ever since, there has been no need for awkwardness and no more force of Gandalf when the twins bring their girlfriends home.